Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa. I want to welcome everybody and thanks so much for coming over. Today's video, I'm going to show you all some things I'm going to make over around my home. I'm also going to show you some thrifted items I have gotten. And I'm going to show you some ways we can decorate with them. And a lot of these are so budget friendly. A lot of them are going to be 50 cents or less and some of them will be free so y'all stick around i hope you enjoy the video i hope you get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home now the first project we're going to work on is going to be a sign that i purchased probably three or four years ago from big lots i have enjoyed it like this but now i'm tired of it so i want to upcycle it and do something a little different to it it's got great structure i love the little pallet wood and it's very easy to remove the little bicycle it just had two little prongs that were clamped down in the back and just lifted those up and it come right off so i'm going to go over it with country chic um, paint and I'm going to link this paint down in my description box so if you're interested in it I'll leave the link for it now I'm just going to go over it with a couple of coats and the the little palette wood that is white distressed in the middle I do not paint it I just leave it the original state it's in because I love the rustic look to it I was going to distress the rest of this but after I got it painted I liked it just the way it was so there's different routes I could have went with this of course I could have put a transfer on it it, but I love stenciling and y'all know I have a whole collection of stencils and I have a huge stencil category in my Amazon store and this one is in there but it's a very large stencil so I took some black ink chalk paint and I just stenciled it on and now I've got a brand new little piece of wall art for my wall and I know I'm going to enjoy this because it's got a little French country and a little shabby chic vibe going Now the next project is going to be an upcycled picture. I obtained this picture from Goodwill and I paid $2.99 for it. And I've always told y'all, if you see a picture and you don't like the color of it or it may have a design on it that you don't like, it, they can easily be spray painted and you can just, you know, transform them to any color that you want. And I love pictures and anytime I see them at a bargain, I always pick them up. All I did was take some gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint, I took it outside and I put a couple of coats on it and it was that easy. So now I've got a great little decor piece for less than $3. Now I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to upcycle these little, um, I don't know, these are little stands. I got these at a churchyard sale and I paid a dollar each for them. I'm going to just take them outside. I'm going to spray paint both of them white and then I'm going to style them and show you how cute these little risers can be. Anytime I see little stands or risers, I always pick them up also because they are great little stands for if you have plants or any kind of decor in your home. Now, in my last week's video, I showed y'all this little pompous tree that was on clearance at Walmart. I'd order it, and I gave y'all the chance to order one. So, I, I left a link in my previous video's description box for it, but I'm going to show you now how I style these cute little pompous trees. I've got both sizes. I love them, and they're great to carry us through fall and through the winter months. So, I'm using my risers, and I'm just going to style my little trees on them. a target dollar spot item i purchased two of these little bubble gum machines for three dollars and they're black and i got them around halloween well i knew exactly when i saw them what i wanted to do with them and everybody's painting them the lid comes off but the bottom doesn't so i just went around very carefully with a brush i put a coat of chalk paint on it just to give it a good base on that little slick finish then i took it outside I taped it off the glass where I wouldn't get spray paint on it and I spray painted it. So now I've got a cute little canister to display for Valentine's or Easter. Now I'm going to show y'all this right here. It was a steal. 
apothecary jars can run up in the money. I, I scored this one at my Goodwill the other day for $1.99. This is a very large size. The thing I love about thrifting is I love to come home and research and see what a deal I got. I found this one similar to mine at Target for $21.99. I styled it with some little packs of little marshmallow hearts from Dollar General. And then I got a Happy Valentine's little, this is like a little cake topper. I purchased that at Dollar Tree. I stuck that down in my marshmallows and now I've got a cute little display for Valentine's. In any season you can use apothecary jars because you can change out the things that you have in it just to style it for whatever season that we're in. Now I'm gonna show you a really easy and quick way to really dress up your stuffed hearts. I've made stuffed hearts in several videos and in my past video, and I'll link it down below, I showed y'all an easy way, no so, of how to make stuffed hearts. Once you get your stuffed heart made, then you just wanna take fabric or whatever you have on hand. This is a um, tablecloth that I purchased at a yard sale during the summer and I paid 75 cents for it. Now I just use my heart as my template and I cut a piece from the tablecloth that would fit, you know, about halfway down on my heart. I just pinned it on and then I'm just gonna use some hot glue. I'm gonna go around, secure it along all the sides. Once you get it all glued down, now you've got a great little pocket. You can stick so many little things down in this just to display them for Valentine's. You could also carry this on through for Easter and stick little Easter embellishments on it. Now I'm going to show y'all a really cute little candle holder that I got at Goodwill. It was $2.99 and anything with a red sticker is half price. So I actually got this for $1.50. Y'all know I love cherubs. And this little candle holder, it's kind of a yellow tint. I don't know if it shows up on camera or not, but it's kind of got more of a yellow tint. So I just took it outside, refreshed it with some Rust-Oleum. Uh, linen white chalk paint sprayed it down really good and now I've got a great piece to decorate this can be set out you know for any season and I can add greenery florals and you know of course a candle to it the beautiful flowers that you just saw I scored those at Goodwill also I paid $2.99 for them and I absolutely love the little glass container they're in the this is going to make such a great addition for Valentine's spring and summertime The next item I'm going to show you is also a picture. I picked it up at a yard sale and I paid $1 for it. This does not have a lid on it, but you can always put things in the middle of it. And you can know we can add greenery and florals to it. This was purchased. It had a sticker on it. It was purchased from a little gift um, florist shop up in Tennessee. So I know somebody, I don't know why somebody got rid of this because I love, I love this just the way it is. So now I'm going to show y'all how well you can style with, with dishes. They have such great color and textures and designs. And a lot of times at thrift stores, you can pick them up very inexpensive. And you can find vintage dishes if you, you know, search the dishes. And you will be surprised at the, at the prices. They are super cheap at my Goodwill. As you can see, those little white ones were 59 cents each. And I researched them online and they're $14.99 each plus $10 shipping. So I felt like I got a great deal on those. I researched the pink ones and they turned out to be vintage 1920 antique plates. So I love them. And of course, being pink. Now these right here were half off. They were $1.99. So I got them for $1 each. 
So I love these. These have really, um, a really pretty design around the, the edges of them. And of course, I looked these up online and I got a great deal on these also. As you can see, one salad plate was $19.99. So always keep your eyes peeled for vintage dishes. You know, like I say, the textures and the colors, you can stack them and they just add so much color and texture to your vignettes. Now this little piece right here was super cute and of course coming up Valentine's anything heart related right now I love and this says on the back of it it's made in the USA by Orth and so I researched this and yes this right here I think is handmade it says Huntsville my happy place but I went out to their website and I researched it but it's Orth Studio and they make these little hearts and they're called giving hearts but they customize them for retail businesses, boutiques, fundraisers, and they will customize them and put whatever you want to say on the little hearts. And they also make like some little ceramic bowls. So this one I'm sure was sold in the town real um, close to me. It was probably in a little gift shop or it could have been at the airport. But anyway, I thought that little heart was so cute. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Now this piece right here is kind of like a little parfait dish And you can see I think it was 99 cents and I got it Or 59 cents and I got it half off So I think I paid a quarter for it but this little dish right here, I'm going to leave it as it is. There's so many things you can do with it. You know, for Valentine's, we can put, you know, you can put vintage vintage photos in it. You can style it for Valentine's. For Easter, we can put a little Easter egg, Easter eggs or a little bird nest on it. So just another little idea if you're out shopping and you see these little parfait dishes. So many things you can do and style these in your home. Now I'm going to show you how easy it was to make that little scrap wood XO sign. I just took a piece of scrap wood, I added some chalk paint to it, and I just went over it with a sandy block and I distressed it really well, especially around the edges. Now I'm going to take the Iron Orchid Design Stamps. Now this is the swoosh. Stay to the end of my video because I'm going to be giving away a set of these and I know you're going to love these. I use black ink on this. You just want to ink up your pad really good and then you just want to put it on the back of your letters and then I'm just going to apply them to my wood. Just make sure to press them down really good to make sure you know your ink uh, applies well. Now I just go over these just with my fingers and you just want to lift it off. Now I see so many projects of people using these stamps. Um, and they, they work really well on fabric also. So because like I say, just stay to the end of the video and I'll give you the details on how to be eligible to win um, this set of stamps. Now I thought this little rustic wood sign turned out so cute. And y'all know I love making things out of rustic wood because I love adding old with new things. And so I think this just makes a great little addition to all the little thrifted pieces that I have. Now I'm going to show y'all a little Elvis tan. Now I had this tan years ago and I guess I probably donated it. Of course, this could be my heart, my little Elvis heart. But of course, I researched him. He's 99 cents and my little mother, she still has one. So she showed it to me actually the other day. But you can see on Etsy what he's selling for. So when I saw him at Goodwill the other day, well, of course, I had to pick him up. But I just think things like this just had such character and, and, you know, and just Valentine's or any holiday doesn't have to be expensive. You know, just look around your home, you know, shop at yard sales and thrift stores and just find really unique ideas. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. 
and this piece right here is very unique this has got an engraved it's in german i think and i'm not sure what the language is so of course i can't read it but i love the copper color i know it was probably for a birth of a baby uh, or maybe an anniversary but i just tied a little um stained flower sack cloth bow on it and i'm gonna leave it its natural state because i love that saying on that that was you know special to somebody at one time and this right here is just like a little heart mold and this was very inexpensive. I got this, I think, at a yard sale for maybe a quarter. And I love the patina on it. So I left it just as is, just giving you ideas of things that, you know, like I say, so inexpensive. Just tie a little bow on it and then style them in your vignettes. Okay, y'all, that is all the projects for today. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing all the things that I thrifted and just trying to show you ways of, you know, very inexpensive ways you can decorate your home with thrifted items. Now, I'm going to tell y'all how you can be eligible to win the Swoosh IOD stamps. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Make sure to comment below IOD so I'll know that you want to be eligible. And also share this video with your family, your friends. Just get it out there. And also, I just want to take the time to thank each and every one of y'all for coming over. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And God willing, I will see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Stay safe and stay well. Bye, y'all.